This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. And uh, I hope you guys are enjoying WebDriver IO series. So today I'm going to uh, tell you, in the previous session already covered that how to get an element, how to create an element with the help of a uh, tag, CSS selector, you can use XPath also like that. So I can show you that uh, over here, you can see that we created last time like this, right? We created search field and we were entering some value over here like that. And then we created some header also. You can pass directly H1 header and then you can get the text like that. You can easily do that. So today what I'm going to do that, uh, I'm going to show you that how to create a basic page object over here. I'm not creating a framework, but now onwards, the best practice is that instead of writing the script like this in a plain linear script, better we write in the form of page object. So what I'll do, I simple, first I'll create a page over here, create a new folder and uh, let's say my folder name is pages. Under this particular pages, I'll create one file over here. Let's say I'll be picking this particular site freshworks.com so you go to freshworks.com and uh, here we have uh, different elements are available so what i'm going to do that i'm going to create right click on it create a new file i'm going to create let's see uh, home page okay dot js okay or you can simply write home dot page dot js also you can simply write it like this as well or let's say i'll do one thing that uh, Okay, let it be like this only home page, right? So I'll be creating this home page.js, and in this particular home page.js, it will behave like a page object model. So we know that in page object model, we have to define the locators, we have to define the respective uh, actions also. So, but in JavaScript also, guys, we can create a class. And how will you create a class? You simply create a class like this. Let's see, my class name is home page. This is the starting body, ending body. And what you have to write, simple write get, and you give any method name like this page, uh, let's see, header, like this. Okay, and this guy will return one element. Which element? This page header. So let's say you want to inspect this header. This is a page header having this particular h1, right? So I simply write return a dollar and then bracket. And then you simply write h1 like this you can write it so what do you mean by dollar here dollar means return the single element so we will talk about double dollar also double dollar means find elements this is single element double dollar means multiple elements that i'll tell you okay later so instead of writing multiple lines can i write it like this simple right i can write it like this as well so if you don't put a bracket also that's all that's okay so you can simply write it like this, that okay, this method is returning one element having this particular tag. Okay, then I'll create one get. Okay, uh, let's see, this is a sub subheader. This particular is the subheader is available under this particular P class. Okay, so what I'll do that this P class is having this particular subtext. So I'll create one P dot CSS selector, but it's giving you one of six. So what I'll do that uh, I'll create under this particular div. So I say that, okay, hey, we go to div child p dot subtext, but again, it's giving you one of six element. So what I'll do, I'll pick, uh, let's see, a specific class over here. So I'll pick this, uh, let's see, banner text font in the last class over here. And I simply write div dot class name and then the child tag p dot subtext. So I can use this particular. Okay, or you can take the XPath also, or simple, I can write simple uh, CSS selector. I'll be preparing. And then I'll create, let's see, this is my subheader. So I simply write uh, sub method and create subheading. And then return what? Return dollar bracket and you return like this okay so you return like this then what i'm going to do that i'm going to create one more method let's see for some other element i want to click on 
let's see this particular link. So I inspect this link and I see that, okay, this is the A and uh, text is support. So I can create an X path over here. So I simply write double slash A and then I know that this is my text is equal to this guy, right? I'll put a bracket over here like this. Okay, so I take this particular X path and with the help of XPath, I create one more get over here. And I simply write, let's see, this is my support link. So support link, which will return what? It will return again, the dollar, it means single element, and then use this particular XPath over here, like that. Okay, so if you're using XPath, you have to write within double quotes because within the XPath, we are using already single quote. So remember like that, okay? So let's see, this is the thing that I have created over here. These three uh, elements I have created. And then if someone wants to use this particular class outside of this particular page class, so what we have to do, we have to use, we have to export this particular class. So by simple write module dot exports is equal to new return home page class object like this. Okay, like this. So outside of this particular class, Anyone can access, okay, this particular class and all these properties. Now, how to do that? So for doing this, I'll be creating a test folder over here. So somehow I've actually deleted the test folder. Now I'm going to create test folder once again. So let's say this is my test folder. And under this particular test folder, I'm going to create a file and my file name, let's say I'm going to create, uh, let's say this is home dot Okay, page, I simply write it like this, home.page.js. What is the name you want to give? You can simply give, or uh, let's see, I simply, instead of home.page.js, I give some different name, uh, home element.js, like that. Okay, now if you really want to use the home page over here, how will you use it? For that, what you have to do, you have to create one home page class reference, is equal to, now you have to use a require keyword, you have to import, just like in Java, we have import a statement. Here we have to use require. Which file you want? I'm, I'm one, okay, I want homepage.js, okay, homepage.js, okay? Or what exactly this homepage.js, where exactly it's available? This particular class is available under homepage.js file. So what I have to do, I simply write double quotes, okay, like this, and then, dot dot it means from your project where exactly you want to go i want to go to pages you can see go to pages and under pages you simply give me home page it means you give me home page dot java so this home page dot java will be imported over here now with the help of required keyword and then once this is done i simply write my describe and uh, in the describe i simply write that uh, uh, home page I simply write, let's see, home page elements handle, comma, callback function, and then write it like this. Okay, and then I simply create, as I told you earlier, we have to create an it function. And in my it function, I simply write, let's see, verify. This will behave like a my this will behave like a test, verify home page elements comma function like this over here like this now what we have to do guys with the help of this particular home page now i can call all the methods which are available over here so the moment i dot dot notation i can see that whatever the things are available over here page header subheading and support link and these three methods will return what the respective web element so i simply call home page dot page header and from this it will return what see it will return okay this particular element so dollar is always used to return an element so if you really want to see you go to let's see their api documentation and you see that a dollar what do you mean by dollar dollar command is a short way to call the find element command okay so internally it will call find element and what is the return type of find element the return type of find element is always a web element. So it will return a single element. And what is a double dollar? 
double dollar it will behave like a find elements okay it will return multiple elements on the page it and it returns an array with element results that will have extended prototype to call action command without passing in a selector it means it will return the collection <clears throat> in the form of array just like driver dot find elements which will return list of web elements same thing it will return array over here so double dollar i'll tell you later so let's talk about simple dollar it will return an element and then when you get this particular element what do you want after that i simply want dot get text method i'll be using over here to give me the text from this particular header and then i'll store in a, a let variable is equal to this and then i'll print it on the console that console dot log you print text over here simple right so now if you really want to run it let's see i simply write npm run test over here now you see the browser is getting launched oops we haven't uh, added just a minute it terminated okay one second we haven't launched the browser right we have to launch the browser as well right the url so browser dot url and uh, what will be the url the url i'll be using this guy uh let's see this freshworks.com you enter this url and that's it now you run it again sorry i forgot to add the url earlier now you run it again with npm run test now see the browser is getting launched and it should pick the text test case got passed you can see i'll show you the result over here the test case got actually passed and you can see one test case got passed and uh, see i'll show you what exactly it is doing first it is launching navigating to this particular url find the element with the help of that h1 tag and then get the element text and then what kind of text is coming this is a result a fresh approach to customer engagement and this is what we are getting on the console fresh approach to customer engagement this is what is written over here right perfect simple now let's interact with some other elements so now i want that i want to call home page okay home page dot subheading dot get text so this guy also will give you the text so i directly print it on the console also that this is my console dot log and then i directly print it over here or you can put in a variable and then you can okay do it like that as well okay so let's see this is the thing i have written <clears throat> and now we have one more element that home page dot support link with support link what do you want support link dot click okay click method i want to use it and then just to show you that okay it's actually clicking on support link so see the moment it will click on support link it will come over here with this particular some message over here you got questions fresh works support can help you something like this and then what i'll do i simply write a browser dot i'll be using a pause over here for five seconds so that i can show you one second sorry browser dot pause and then i'll be using for five second wait okay simple so let's run this script and let's see what happens so what i'm doing here first i'm getting a text for the page header storing inside the variable printing it on the console next time i'm getting the web element with subheading you can see this is a subheading on the basis of this particular csv selector and then getting the text and directly printing using console.log then support link element i'm getting and then clicking on it and all these actions i'm performing with the help of okay with the help of home page over here home page is what that we have already okay we have already imported from this particular home page dot js file so whatever the class is available and uh, this guy will return the object of that particular class because this line is important guys you have to export this file export this particular class with this particular object and then only you can use it and then with the help of this home page i simply perform other actions so it's slightly different from java but don't be confused now you run it again and let's see what happens
See, it is clicking on support. And after five seconds, see, what questions Freshworks support can help you. And then after five seconds, it will be closed. Perfect. And then you see the results over here. The results are exactly same. That is what we are expecting. And uh, see, the second heading was what? The second heading was this. Delight your customer. Okay, you can see that. Uh, delight your customer over here. Right, delight your customer every step of the way. In the second line is this. You will know what we mean. Same thing, you will know what we mean. And the first uh, heading also, we have got it. And then we actually clicked on support link as well like that so like this guys uh, we can create the page objects and then we can simple return okay the elements and then multiple page classes you can create so let's see for every page now uh, you go to the support page now you create a support page link over here support page class over here and multiple elements you can create for the support page like that you can create login page home page or registration page like that and then you create a single test file where you just simple keep calling Okay, those methods, and then you can multiple imports. You can write it over here like this. So let's see, constant home page is equal to this, then login page is equal to this, then registration page is equal to this, like that. So more examples I'll be covering in the next video, and in the next video I'll tell you what do you mean by double dollar as well, right? It's very simple. Please practice on any other application, and then later on I'll tell you that how to verify after clicking on support link. Then we will capture the text, we will capture the title, and then we will verify, we will write some chai assertion also later on. But slowly we will be moving further, and I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. It's very simple, very slow, I mean, sorry, very simple, very uh, strong, and then very powerful, guys. You can, guys, simply use it, and please practice as much as possible that you can. Okay, so thank you so much. Thanks for watching this video, guys. This is Naveen here, and let me know if you have any issues.